Wow, Wooly here. There's Kuda. Good dog. Guys, it's a controversial one today. This is this is uh, my Burghouse Spartan 60. And this is not what this uh, this video is about. Stay tuned. Yes! <laughs> You've read the title. You're here for, for a reason, guys. And this is a controversial video. I, I have... When, when I did my unboxing, my Varstalika unboxing video, guys, I had a lot of comments, right? Uh, a lot of comments about price, okay? A lot of comments about especially the price of this here that's in this in this rucksack, guys. And this is the, the, the Varstalika uh, M05 finished camo, Corinthia Defense 4 sleeping bag. Oof. Let's let's have a look, a more in-depth look at it, guys, and let's 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 talk about the controversy. First of all, it's in this, right? Because I wanted to show you the size, right? So this is a 60-liter rucksack. This is this is my winter rucksack. This is of course expandable, guys, and I I, I did a whole load of videos on, on this stuff. So okay. So that is the size that it takes up in that rucksack. Now, still plenty of room in the bag, okay, for all your winter essentials and stuff like that. Now, this rucksack, this rucksack, or sleeping bag is in a dry bag at the minute. It is not in the stuff sack, and let me explain why. This is a really slippy stuff sack. That's it, and and I could probably get it smaller, guys. I haven't compared this to the to the standard Corinthia Defense Four, but I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that this is going to be bigger. Okay, I dry bag all my gear, right? This does come with a stuff sack, guys. But for me to put it into a stuff sack and then into a dry bag uh, is sort of defeats the purpose a little bit and I have put the dry bag somewhere really safe and I can't find it. Okay, let's get it out, let's have a look. <coughs> there you go, check it out. It's actually remarkably well camouflaged with the background there. Well, let's 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 ha have a little look, and I'll, I'll briefly go over the, the, the specifications of it, guys. Okay, okay. It has an outer shell which they call shell proof. It's lightweight, hard wearing, rip stop, blah 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 blah. Waterproof to one thousand millimeters, breathable, uh, and it's loose. Okay, so it's not sewn directly like baffles and stuff like that to the outside of the bag guys and this provides a wee bit extra of in, in air insulation in the bag itself to make it warmer okay it has a shell trans lining whatever that is guys basically that's the inside of the bag and it feels soft to the skin and it has thermal reflect which is a lightweight aluminium material that reflects body heat uh, and it raises the, the heat retaining of re retaining capacity of the bag by 11 percent and also it has the G loft filling guys and that is really well and works really really well okay double layer G loft filling actually okay so they're saying the the the, the comfort of this is going to be about five degrees Fahrenheit right uh, sorry minus hang on a second that's not right it's saying about minus 15 comfort they're saying it's about minus 15 comfort guys I don't know if I have ever been in minus 15 weather in my life okay but th these are warm bags now and I'm I'm going from my experience with the standard Corinthia Defense 4 guys and this is a warmer bag for for a uh, for a few reasons did he say a few probably just one right basically what you get here is you have a Corinthia Defense 4 okay but you have a Finnish military Corinthia Defense 4 in the Finnish camel, right? That's that's the thing, right? So the price on these guys 
Guys, the price on these is 340 euros, okay? Guys, the price of the original Corinthia Defense 4 on the Varsalika website is 200 and 240 euros. So there's an extra 100 euros in there, okay? So what do you get for that extra 100 euros? Well, first of all, straight out of the bat, right, is you, you get a camouflage sleeping bag. A really, really cool camouflage sleeping bag, guys. Look, and, and, and I, I have made no bones about this. I have at least two videos on the Corinthia Defense 4 and how I think it is the best bushcraft, you know, uh, sleeping bag out there. You know, with the, wa the water resistant outer, the wind resistant outer, you know, all the different things, guys. But in this, you have now the same as the, the standard finished Corinthia Defense 4. Guys, you have this Nomex foot box, right? And on the inside, we have a poly cotton. Let me see if I can get this off easy. We have a poly cotton liner, right? So look, there you can see on the inside of the bag, everything else is the same, okay? So it's the same as your standard Corinthia Defense 4. So we have a poly cotton liner here, uh, guys, which is going to increase the temperature rating of this bag. I don't know how, how much, I guess off the top of my head, I'm thinking maybe, maybe you're gonna put five degrees on it, but I might be wrong with that. But what that means is that you don't have to you don't have to wash it. You don't have to. Can I help you? You don't have to wash the sleeping bag, guys. So look, basically, what a liner or, or the main functions of the liner are. Hang on a sec. There's actually a double liner there, for some reason. I don't know. I'll figure that out in a minute, guys. Is that you? You can take just take the liner out when when you're if you've been a bit sweaty in it or something like that or a bit grubby. You literally just take the liner out. And, and you chuck it in the wash and it saves you having to wash your actual sleeping bag and that will prolong the life of your filling and all that and, and your sleeping bag itself, okay? Also, keeping it unstuffed will prolong, prolong the life of your, fill, your, your, of your sleeping bag as well. So this thing zips in, okay? It zips in around the hood and it, it, it zips in down this side and it also, I thought it just Velcroed in along this side but it actually zips in along the other side as well, guys. And everything is YKK zips and everything is really, 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 really well made as per standard Corinthia, right? Uh, guys, I have slept in this twice, but I have not slept in it outside. <coughs> so I did I did the usual man trick is that that uh, we had visitors staying and, and we, we had to move to to a spare room. So I says, you know what? I'm sleeping in the sleeping bag. Now I have just I'm going to sleep in the sleeping bag just to test it guys and i i was roasting it was really warm it was really 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 warm this is a recommended height of six foot seven the, sorry the length of the bag is six foot five is sorry the length of the bag is 230 centimeters the width of the shoulder is 87 centimeters the weight of the bag is 2 kg okay now i actually think it's a little bit heavier than that with everything else that's that's involved in it so I think it's about 2.4 kg, including including the inner and all, all that stuff on the stuff sack as well, okay? Okay, two-way zippers, guys, on the front, which is, which is normal enough, uh, which is handy if you have to get up and go to the toilet in the middle of the night, because all you can do is unzip this and then stick your legs out and, and, and take it with you and walk away. Uh, guys, it is, you know, it's just one of these things, right? You get you get what you pay for when it comes to this stuff. Now this stuff is all made in Europe, right? Uh, Corinthia is a European a European company, guys. The, the 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 quality that you are getting here is just second to none, right? It is it's just unreal, and the Corinthia stuff is all excellent excellent quality, guys. For for me. If Forstalika hadn't have sent me this, guys, I was probably going to get one of these anyway. Now, to, it's a fair whack of money, right? But I love the Corinthia De Defence 4. It is just such a good sleeping bag. I have slept out in it on its own with nothing else except the bivvy bag so many times in very, very cold weather, guys. And it, it, it has just been really, really good. Hey, Bruno, is that a stick for me to throw? Guys, it has just been so good. It's an excellent sleeping bag. It just works so well. It's... 
it's it's this it's it is my go-to sleeping bag it really is i have tested lots of sleeping bags on the channel and stuff guys and it's one of these things is that if i'm not testing the sleeping bag i'll go oh i'll take the defense for and i get into it and i go ah you know it's like hard to explain you know it's like sleeping in your own bed <laughs> if that makes sense guys i i am hopefully going to get an overnight out in this really really soon i'm really looking forward to it uh it's it's just the camouflage is class, like, you know, it's just such a cool item. It, re it really is. They, they just have, they have, Varsalika have nailed it with this big time, you know, like, I, you know, I'm, I, I love a bit of camel gear, you know, but this is dead cool. Dead cool. <coughs> it's, 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 sometimes it's hard, it's hard to keep the inner nerd in sometimes, you know. <laughs> Guys, <coughs> excuse me. Thanks for watching. Stay frosty. Hey Bruno. You just want to see Bruno chase the stick. Oh, Bruno, it's all covered in slabbers. What do you see, Bruno? Oh, I see a little stick. Oh, oh. You ready? Three, two, one, go. Good boy. He's so proud of himself. Good boy. He's so proud of himself. Thanks for watching. Stay frosty.